What's up, everybody? It's Justin here. It is time to go through the stats of the month of June as well. I went back six months because I wanted to see what's been happening this year so far and how this year is panning out. So let's dive into it. Let's start with total sales. Our total sales were 531. This is significantly below May sales, which were 655. We also had April and March, which were also in the 600s. But oddly enough, February was 500. So June and February, there's like a fifth, there's only 15 more homes that sold in June than sold in February. So did we have a, did we have a busy February or did we have a slow June, even though we had an interest rate reduction? Let's go into the numbers a bit further as well. I want to point out, looks like spring came early this year because we had March, April, May, all in the 600s. Typically, the spring market will start in April. I think it was a very mild winter. Things were warm. We didn't have a lot of snow. So spring market definitely came early. Moving into new listings. So this is the number of new listings that came up in June, 1,272. It's lower than May, which was 1,440. May is always a very heavy listing month. It is like the spring market month. So things kind of went up in May, back down in June to around the same level they were in in April. Nothing unusual here. You can just see every month more, more listings, more listings, more listings, except slightly less in June. But the next number is pretty interesting. That is our active listing. So this is the amount of inventory sitting on the market. And you can see since the start of the year, uh, we've gone up actually 66% in inventory. Okay, 66%. Started 1174, 1213, 16, 18, 1957, almost 2000 homes sitting on the market. This is all residential property in Hamilton, but a 66% since January is how much our inventory has increased. Uh, you know, so with sales going down, with inventory levels rising, what does that do? That increases our months of inventory. Months of inventory, again, if you haven't been watching this forever, essentially how long it would take all of these 2,000 homes to sell if no other new listings came on the market. So the amount of months it would take would be 3.7 months. Zero to three is a seller's market, three plus is balanced. Uh, and then you get into your buyer's market, six plus. But you can see that we actually had in February, looks like it was a good month, 2.4 months, meaning it was under the balanced market and gearing towards a seller's market. But slowly, as our inventory levels rise, and sales kind of went flat. We have more homes on the market, but the sales aren't going up with it. The sales are going like this. It creates options for buyers, which shifts us into 3.7 balanced market. I don't really like using the term balanced market because let's be honest, it's either a seller's market where the seller is getting what they want, or it's a buyer's market where the buyers have a lot more negotiating power, which we're seeing is happening now because uh, like I said, more inventory sales flattening, that's creating options for buyers. So sellers are having to get more aggressive on the price to sell, whereas buyers have a lot more options. Lastly, average price. This is the big one. Look at that. Since January, we're up 5%, but the average price in Hamilton for a residential property, this includes condos, is still $831,000. So it started at seven ninety one, dollars crept up. Where was the peak? Oh, we're almost at the peak. So March was the second highest, which actually, you know, it makes sense because look at March, 2.2 months of inventory. But here, 831. So it actually went up despite uh, despite the months of inventory. But what that means is these higher priced homes are selling. And it seems like, I don't know, have first time buyers not really been as active? Is that why the average price is going up? We're not seeing the smaller properties transact as often. Could also be condos are in that lower price point. Our condo market is really slow right now. So we could see a lot of those condos not selling. But keep that in mind, a 5% gain in average price since January. At this pace, it would be 10%, but I'm curious at the end of the year, but I'm curious to see how much this is going to go up. Is real estate still good as an investment? I mean, look at that 5% gain, but this is what's crazy to me is a 66% addition to inventory. But if you're looking at selling, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have to be a little more spot on with your price. There's tons of options out there for buyers. If you're looking at buyers, give us a call to make sure that we can get you into a property uh, that makes sense for you. Anyways, Hope you guys found this helpful. I look forward to talking to you again next month. Take care.